Ladies and gentlemen and everybody between, I am some guy, and this is 40 Ounces of Adventure. The show where I drink and provide a walkthrough for mainly adventure games. It's a damn fine game. Kafka-esque, a very mature plot. The puzzles aren't too bad, I'll admit I got stuck on a few of them for far too long. But that's what I'm here for, to provide you a buzzed, and then perhaps even drunk and walk through later on. But yeah, if you're on the fence about this game, or if you're curious about it, and trust me, I've played a shitload of adventure games, this one's a very good one. A very high quality game. A bit clunky in parts, and his voice acting does leave something to be desired, but not everything could be perfect. It's like a, I don't know, 8, 9 out of 10 sort of game. And it's also just part one of a I guess, two-part series? I don't even know about that <laughs> until later on. But yeah, this is just one part of perhaps multiple parts. Without further ado, let's get on with this walkthrough by starting a new game. In full disclosure, I got an early copy of this game because I backed it on Kickstarter and got the extra perks of early access and all that. Symbolism. Yeah, and a bunch of brothers worked on this game. I don't know. It's too soon to say. We should let him rest. They also, they're banned to the music. very feeble for weeks. He can't get up. He doesn't speak. Do you think we should call a doctor? Call a doctor? Here? You're right. Let's just hope he wakes up one of these days. Come on, my friend. Hang on. Don't give up. Please, let me get to this. That's a fun intro. Wake up, Michael. Come on, you have to wake up. That was a bit quiet, that intro, actually. Alright, sorry about that. Anywho, it don't really matter what we say because technically ghost ladies won't let us exhaust all dialogue options. What's happening? What is this place? Please, tell me. Please, Michael, wake up. Wake up. This silence, and this darkness. Where am I? Damn it. I can't, I can't remember. This dude, I'm going to probably say this multiple times, his voice, Michael, the voice actor, I forget his name, he sounds like Hercules. Kevin Serbo? Like, just listen, like, he really reminds me of the Hercules dude who... Well, he's gone on and made some suspect Christian movies, but it always be Hercules to me, and his voice is just so similar to this voice actor's. It's kind of fun to picture Kevin Serbo with his mullet in his abs doing the voice acting for this game. Oh, it makes it all the funner. Don't go! Uh, please! Uh, come back! Come back! This silence. This darkness. This emptiness. Dude... Like, that was a very interesting thing. All right. Now, oh, look, there's an oil lamp. It's got a pretty big, like, click zone hotspot, so obviously we click on it. Hopefully you didn't get stuck at this part of the game because, well, all you had to do is move your mouse to find it. Act 1, a camp full of rats. Good morning. I hope you're feeling better. Uh, but... Now don't be alarmed. I'm glad you feel strong enough to get out of bed. That's wonderful news. I must say you're looking much better, considering what you've been through, of course. Who are you? 
Ah, yes, of course. Forgive my manners. You've been with us uh, for so long that I forgot that you don't know who we are. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rod Atkinson. I'm, well, I was. I was the director of the Municipal Property Registry before, well, you know, before the world collapsed on us. Actually, we don't know. Ah, pleased to meet you, Mr. Atkinson. But... Yeah. Now, Rob, the voice actor, he seems very monotone and like... Eh. But at the same time, considering the world we're living in, a post-apocalyptic hellscape... I guess it's excusable. The man's an emotionless husk, just existing in, well, a shit-tastic world. So I guess we can go let it slide, but still. It... <laughs> I guess a little bit of passion would be nice, but whatever. What can you do, man? So, dude has amnesia, which is always nice. Yes, this is a very old trope indeed. Hero has amnesia, but... I don't mind it, considering we're in a very bizarre, strange, apocalyptic world. We don't know anything about this world. We're just like the character. I know it's cliched, but... It's not bad, really. And in this game, it does serve a purpose that you'll find out later on. Or if you just keep watching my walkthrough, if you don't want to pay the money to play this game. Although, you should, because it's a really good game. All right. Can you tell me what I'm doing here? Yes, of course. I think we owe you an explanation. A few days after the great wave, we found you lying in a ditch near the airport. You were badly injured and unconscious. We couldn't oh. just leave you there. Someone had already stolen your luggage and identification. Fucking jerks. It was awful. So we decided to take care of you ourselves and brought you here. You've been with us ever since. Hopefully no Kill Bill shit way, happened. I should tell you that when we found you, your clothes were ripped to shreds, Maybe some Kill Bill shit so we did threw happen. them away. The clothes you're wearing now are mine. You'll find more things in that wardrobe. If you need anything, just help yourself. Damn, he's so Thank nice. You, Mr. So nice. But Why he so nice? Who knows? From what you've told me, I see that you've saved my life. I'm very grateful, Mr. Atkinson. No, please. You don't have to thank us. We just did what we had to. It's our moral obligation to uphold the ethical principles of civilization in this new world. But call me Rod, mm. please. And, well, we also did it for Colin, you see. What kind of future does he face if we accept that it's every man for himself, that no one cares about anyone else? Yeah, yeah idealism. It's a terrifying prospect, don't you think? We're just doing whatever we can to avoid that future, that's all. Colin? Yes, Colin is our only child. Our one ray of hope since the catastrophe. Uh, I'm going to confess something to you. Colin is the only reason my wife and I still struggle to keep going in this man, new world. Man, this dude is laying his heart out there. We would have there. given up a long time ago if it weren't for him. Uh, of course. I understand. So that was your wife's voice that woke me up a few minutes ago, right? My wife? No, that's impossible. Oh, really? My wife has been with me in the other room the whole time. We haven't come out of there for hours, <gasps> but I'm glad you're feeling better and are fully conscious now. I guess we could say you've been reborn. And although the circumstances aren't the best, simply being alive nowadays is practically a luxury. So, welcome to our home. Well, being alive at any point is a luxury. And it's being alive is a luxury. It's a cool one, too. Right, so we're going to uncover more plot about the game get to burst more in this world with people who have kind of freaky dicky hands but I like it the great wave what are you talking about well what would I be talking about that damned excuse my language mm. explosion that brought ruin to I all know, of Rob's us this foul mouth sailor the origin of this filthy new world that now seems to be our permanent reality I saw him. but do you really not remember do you really not remember anything about all this? No, we just saw an intro. I feel a little weak and dizzy, Mr. Atkinson. You really didn't explain much. Excuse me. I'm afraid I can't. I can't remember a thing. Hmm, I see. There have been many cases like yours in the camp. Try to rest and not to get too agitated. Oh. Well, there's one thing I can tell you. You can consider yourself fortunate. Oh, pray tell There's why. nothing nice to remember about recent times. Believe me. 
Oh, right. Who else lives here? You said, with us. Who else lives here? Ah, yes, of course. I still haven't properly introduced my family No, to you didn't, Rob. Now is a bad time, but I promise to make proper introductions later. My wife and I sleep in the other room, mm -hmm. and, well, little Colin sleeps with us. Ah. Uh, so sweet. My groaning, painful Rod. sounds. Rod. Please excuse me, but I have to leave you now. Okay. No, wait, please. What's happening? Don't go yet. I'm sorry. I understand that you have a lot of questions to ask me, but now isn't the time. Believe me. I promise to answer each and every one of your questions in peace and quiet later. Sorry, but I have to go. Ah! Hmm. Not very pleasant. Rod, please, quickly! Okay, all right. Now that you're feeling better, you can go out and take a walk around the camp. But please, be very careful out there. The world you knew before is gone. <gasps> Heed my warning, don't touch anything. Don't talk to anyone, and don't get mixed up in anything. At least until someone explains to you how things work in this new world the Great Wave left us. Everything has changed so much out mm -hmm. there. All right. Thanks for the advice. Ah, one more thing before I go. You've been with us for quite a while now, and we don't even know what to call you. What is your name? My name? Michael. My name is Michael. Very pleased to meet you, Michael. We'll talk again later, I promise. Michael. That's what that disembodied voice called me. That must be my name. Wake up, Michael. That's all she said. Leaving me in this immense void where I can't remember anything. Great wave? New world? Refugee camp? But what the devil could have happened out there? I think it might be a good idea to go out there and take a look. Sweet. Well, anyway, folks, we're not going to heed Rob's advice at all. We're going to go on an adventure. And really, all we need to do here is... Hey, look. We got hotspot detection. Damn, let's open up this oven. And we'll pull out some stuff. Hmm. There's a very worn old notebook hidden under the lid. The cover is practically falling off the spiral binding. Mm -hmm. It looks like someone stashed it here some time ago and then forgot about it. Cool. We're heeding Hercules' advice, and we're walking around now. Oh, yeah. We can exit. I mean, there's nothing else to do. We can try to get in this wardrobe, but it locked. Fucking impossible. Fucking Rob. It's locked. I'm afraid my host forgot to unlock it before he left. Jerk. Got to unlock it because his kid's crying in pain. And this trailer has some high ceilings, too. Very spacious. Let's go outside. Good God. What the hell happened here? Why the cutscene so quiet? Right. I don't know what hit this place. But whatever it was, it struck it to its very foundations without any mercy whatsoever. What's happening now? Mm. You better hide, dude. Don't you know that it's dangerous to show your face when the cleanup brigades come into the camp? You're new here. Aren't Motherfucker ain't moving his mouth. Who's this dude? They psychic. Welcome to your new home. I'm Hank, but everyone calls me the hunter. I'm the man just call yourself the hunter. That's what everyone calls him. Nothing might just routine. The cleanup brigades are taking away a sick person, a dissolved. You know how it is, just doing their job. Actually, we don't. I like this guy. Oh. Well, because they can. And this is dystopia, man. Get, get up to speed. It's a gritty, dark world. I'm afraid he's gone. Again, I don't know why the cutscenes are so damn quiet. I'll probably try to up them in post. But even then, they might sound a little funny. I do apologize. I don't know why it is that way. Anyway, 
We can talk to this delightful homeless man or just trip balls here. We're gonna trip balls here for a second. But what's happening? What is this? What the hell's going on here? LSD trip. Good God. I think I'm starting to lose my mind. Mm hmm As I was saying, we could talk to this homeless man. But you see, homeless man got shit. We want to pilfer through it. But he ain't going to let us pilfer through it. Because he crazy homeless dude. Even in dystopia. Still crazy homeless man. Put pot on the burning drum. Ouch! Damn it! This vacant lot is full of trash and broken glass. Yep. I managed to rip open the sole of my foot in a rusty <sighs> nail. Ooh. Hey, it's not good to walk around barefoot in this enormous trash heap. You won't get very far without shoes. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the tip. The tip is yours to keep. But if you come near my things, you're a dead man. Understood? Wait, I recognize you. Aren't you the guy Rod's been taking care of in his trailer all this time? Yeah, we are. Yes, I am. Do you know Rod? Of course I do. Everyone in the camp knows Rod. You owe him your life. Don't doubt that for a second. Nowadays, no one in his right mind would do what he did for you. For a total stranger. That's what that poor devil is like. A sitting duck for the wolves of the new world. Yes. I'm very grateful to mm -hmm. him. But tell me, can I ask you a few questions? Actually, we don't need to talk to him about shit. Well, I'll be going on my way. Good luck to you, pal. Yep. Just be sure to stay away from my thing. This guy's obsessed with material wants and desires. God. He probably worked for Goldman Sachs when, well, before the Great Wave hit. Now he was obsessed with material wealth, so we gotta take him Let's down see. to reality. I could swear that the lid is just the right size for this drum. <gasps> like shit was made for one another. Perfect. It's beautiful. And convenient to us, because you get suffocated. Damn it! What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor thing. He really did work from Goldman Sachs, so he can't see this an obvious problem right in front of him. be the end of us. <laughs> Dude, you, 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 the smoke's right here. There's a lid on it. Whatever. I'll have to do this quickly before this be man stops us. coughing. Well, let's see what we have here. I mean, even with all the smoke, you, you can just like stand up and move a little. Rotten food, tattered clothes, and trash. My bourgeoisie scum. You want to move? It seems like there's also a small billfold with a bunch of credit. Cards. A credit card, upset with material thing. Yep, you have a banker. What is this guy doing with so much plastic money? But a banker. Oblivious to his surroundings. A person can't even breathe in this hellhole anymore. Well, let's let him loop his dialogue. All right. Now that we have credit cards that are in suspect condition, we can use them in the wardrobe to break the lock. Although the, uh, this credit card doesn't seem particularly durable at this point, but whatever. Let's see if I can do this. Well, I guess Neo does a wardrobe. Good. The mechanism gave way in the first try, Yay. but the car is trashed. For my sake, I hope that guy outside never finds out about this. Well, who's going to take plastic in the dystopia? Right. Basically, we got to get shoes, but we can't get shoes because we cut open our foot, which is very unfortunate. You know, get all sorts of like lock jaw and shit. Well, look at that. Infection. When I pulled back the sheet, yeah. part of it got torn on the spring sticking out of the bed frame. Hmm. I hope Rod doesn't notice. So the game's signposting that this spring right here rips fabric. And we can't just use a pillowcase and a bottle of whiskey. What for? I'd only end up with an enormous pillowcase soaked in liquor. Just, uh, no, we gotta make some okay. bandages. Let's see how well this protruding bed spring can cut. Yeah. Kind of an unnecessary step. If you ask me, kind of an unnecessary step. But whatever. That's just me. Why can't? Why do you need to rip up the shit to do I'll what we're doing anyway? I use in the bottle to soak the bandages. Mm -hmm. So we got soaked bandages. We'll put on some shoes. Here goes. I'll use the bandages on my foot. I hope the alcohol is enough to keep it from getting infected. Uh, I hope so too, buddy. I doubt they're penicillin anymore. Let's pray this improvised remedy doesn't lead to a delightful case of gangrene. Ooh. That would be unfortunate. What bastard put a lid on the drum? Wow. You tried to <laughs> suffocate me, you bunch of assholes. How convenient. I think that guy out there just discovered the reason for a sudden coughing fit. 
some coward in this shithole wanted to stop you that very brave man me who was it who was it come back here so i can give you back your lid you son of a bitch a bit absurd what's going on isn't it but hey we need the shoes did you hear that noise rod what's going on out there i don't know i'll go have a look I think it's that poor drunk who's always hanging around the trailer. He's kicking up a fuss again. Ah. It's a good thing poor Colin can't hear his insults. Don't ever say anything like that again, Rod. Why did he I'm say that was so bad? I wasn't thinking. And that he's a drunk? I mean, if he has liquor in the apocalypse, we should hang out. I'm just saying, it seems like booze is hard to come by. Although we've actually just found a bottle of whiskey. Hmm. Eh, let's go over here. What are you doing here? Get out of here! You've no business being in this room! I saw I'm nosy. Rod, it's like I'm playing I'm a game. Sorry. I... But what's going on? Get out of here, Michael! You didn't see anything, understood? Out! Out! Ooh. Ooh. They're not good. Excuse my outburst, Michael. I shouldn't... This dude got some problems. I shouldn't have behaved that way. It's not like me. But this new world brings out the worst in all of us. Dude. It's just that I can't stand to see Colin suffer this way. So for your own good, please stay away from this room. Can do, buddy. Away? Why? What it says it's so, no use Michael. To hide it. You're bound Jesus. to find out sooner or later. Colin Don't ask is very questions. sick, and the authorities claim his illness is highly contagious. Highly contagious? Is he one of the dissolved? <gasps> Michael. I won't let anyone use that word in my house. Mm -hmm. Yes, Colin caught that damn disease. Oh dear. So Colin's one of the dissolves. That is most unfortunate. And from what we know, people with ambulance just show up and shoot people in the gut over it. So we're pretty damn serious. So we're not going to snitch, right, Michael? We ain't going to snitch. Look, your eyes aren't even open. You didn't see nothing. Look, his eyes are not even open. What the fuck do you think he saw? He okay. He cool. Rod, right, don't worry. We cool. Well, all right. sounds like we got to do some shit then. So there's a drug that can cure them. Yes, but they say that producing it takes a long time and is very expensive. And so it's reserved for city dwellers who can afford to pay for it. Get us that drug, Michael. I beg of you, please. Colin's time is running out. I'm grateful for your help, Rod, and for everything you people have done for me. But listen to me, Michael. We know that it's possible that our son is condemned to die. Mm. In fact, my wife and I have everything prepared for when he leaves us. Oh. Our child is the only thing that keeps us holding on in the new world. Nothing would have any meaning for us without Damn, him. Damn, that's sad. So if there is even the slightest chance of saving him, we are prepared to do whatever it takes. Please, Michael, help us. All right. Oh, we want Kenobi. You are our only hope, sort of shit. Except it's Michael. For God's sake, listen to him. He's just a child. Rod, come in here quickly. Bring us that cure, and we'll help you get your life back. Colin you make a convincing our argument. In this new world. Help us save our future. Yeah, I already said that like three times, dude. Your past. I promise you. Wait a minute. Before leaving, I should write down everything important I find out in this notebook. Yeah, please do. It might come in handy if, as Rod says, I'm one of the blankheads, the great way. I'm pretty sure you blank. are. But either way, that's just like our journal that tells us what to do and all that. Dude knows how to write still, which is fortunate. But either way, this game is actually made using Unity, which is really interesting. Because you don't think Unity 2D games, but... Here we have a gorgeous, really nice one. Yeah. Alright, hotspot detection is nice. But honestly, we don't really need to do anything else while we're here. We can just pretty much truck on to over where the... Well, the dude was shot. Oh! But first we gotta trip balls again. Very unfortunate. Damn it! What's going on? It's amazing. Everything's changing again. Acid flashback. Everything. Not very pleasant. Everything is mutating, and I haven't even moved. I don't understand. I don't understand anything. Calm down, Hercules. We're fine. Although it looks hastily and shoddily built, 
It's surprising to see a brick and mortar building amid all these shacks in the refugee camp. No doubt this must belong to someone important or with very good contacts in here. Yeah, so that, that pretty ominous. We should go there. And we can avoid all these people. I mean, they're just, they just thugs and shit. And this dude, someone apparently shot him in the knee or something. Probably used to be an adventurer. But either way, we go over here. It's kind of hard to tell that we need to, but we have to. Kind of have to pan the screen. You know, hey, here's a mean chain smoking woman who we have to talk to. Because you see over here? Nothing of interest. The floor of the room is littered with useless junk like this. But wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I think I can see something sticking out from under that piece of wood. They're a pack of cigs. We should grab it. Hey, you filthy rat. Get out of my house. Do you hear me? Out. I... Forgive me. We've got nothing left for you to steal. Go back to your sewer, you filthy rat. Scram. No, you've got it all wrong. I haven't come to take anything. But wait a minute. I recognize you. Weren't you with the man they shot out there a while back? Yes. My name is Misha. And that man is my husband. Oh dear. That's sad. Why is everything all over the floor? Were you robbed? Well, no shit. They left us nothing. Those envious rats took everything. They'd been hanging around waiting for days. It seems like those bums have a sixth sense about where it dissolved as being hidden. When they saw my husband injured and lying on the ground, they forced their way in and looted our house. Oh dear. Bums? Envious rats? Who are you talking about exactly? Them! All of them! Yeah! Everyone Fuck living here in this camp envies us. They envy who we are, what we have, our privileges, our army contacts. So they envy you because your husband is a mole. Ooh. Is that right? Don't call him that, you worm. He collaborates with the forces of law and order. That's his job. And in this collaboration with law enforcement, wasn't turning in others of the dissolved one of your husband's duties? Damn, dude, you just Shut poked up. the bear, Shut Michael. Up. You envy us too. You're just like the rest of the rest yeah, of Yeah, Michael, cow. have some tact. Damn, you a blank head, but learn how to interact with people better. And also, <laughs> I think your accent kind of changes if you really listen. It's it's kind of weird. I could lend it to you, but I don't trust you. I don't trust you or any other filthy rat in this camp. Beat it! Get out of here! If I want to get my identity back, I need that drug for the dissolved. And to get it, I have to leave the camp. Right, Kevin Serbo. I have to do whatever it takes to gain this woman's trust. No matter how unpleasant I find her screams and insults. Listen to me. I'm not just another camp rat. I'm your friend. I want to be your friend. Mm -hmm. You told me you were worried about winter coming. Let me help you. I'll bring you food. Food for your children. Then will you trust me? I don't know. Bring me the food first. First you bring me food for my children. And then we'll talk about that past. All right. I'll do it. Sweet. So we gotta get food for Miss Chainsmoker. And how do we do that? Well, we go out over here, and oh hell, here's her, her children. We can chit chat with them. They're fighting pigs. Fighting Hi, pigs. Kids. Hello, sir. What are you up to? Dude. We're doing target practice. Kids sound British for a second. We're going to be real good shots. Someday we'll get those pigs who shot Dad. How awful! These children must have seen the cleanup brigades shoot their father out there. Poor kids. What do you think they saw? How's the target practice going? Bad at the moment. We need a real target, or we'll never be able to hit those soldiers. Yeah, we need a better target. Okay. Hey, quit talking to that rat. He's not one of us. You know what mom and dad say about the people in the camp. They're camera. wonderful, right? Leave my brother alone. Get lost, rat. Yeah, you're not one of us. Get lost, rat. Well, they fucked. So, yeah. We gotta go do some shit for the kiddies. Let's go ahead and do that. How do we do that? Well, we go over here. And we go over here. And hey, look, there's no brick building. With power and shit. Look, they're light bulbs. How do they generate this power? I don't really know. We don't need to talk to this dude. Although, he, he's sad. Anyway, oh shit. Empty beer cans. Let's grab them. 
And that's all we need. This is a delightful establishment filled with characters. It's like cheers up in here. But we don't need to talk to anyone quite yet. So now we have these cans. We'll be back here with the kids. Here you go, children. Have some cans. Yeah! Thank you. Now we'll really be able to become the best shots in the camp. All right. So now you're saying this rat isn't a rat? No, I'm not. My name is Michael. Hello, Michael. Oh, kids. I need your help really quick, though. I need your help, boys. How can we help you, Michael? Why? I have to get something from inside your house. It's something I need so that I can help your father. Understand? But your mother is very agitated. And I need you to give me a hand. Yeah, yeah. It's a mission. What do you want us to do, Michael? I need you to get your mother out of the house for a few minutes. Just long enough for me to go in and get what I need. Do you think you can do that? Of course, we're big boys. I'll owe you. And gullible boys, I promise that's to that. give you a reward. Okay, let's do it. A mission. So, they do some off screen. As indicated by that fade out. And now we can grab the pack of cigs because... Well, believe it or not, we're actually on a quest to get food for that lady and her children. Oh, my head. Uh, what the hell's going on? A cutscene. Oh, God, my head feels like it's going to explode. Oh, damn. Michael, please, help us. Help us. God. Please, remember Beachwood Oracle. Repent. It's the sun. Whoa, it was like a music video from the early 90s. And only you can prevent forest fires, folks. These images and that woman's voice. It's the same one that woke me up in the trailer. I'm trying. I'm trying to remember. Stop tormenting me. I hope Rod helps me find some answers. If not, I'll go mad. Wow, this guy's like absolutely mad. He, uh, he, his, his attitude and his emotions change like on the dime. Right. So my frame rate really terrible for these cutscenes, or at least this one. I don't know why. But it is. Oh, oh, game a little bit broken. Let's give it a second catch up with itself. Oh, he's still talking. All right. That was an intense cutscene. All right, so after that exciting cutscene, we got booze and cigs. All you need for a good night, or all you need to give to the bartender for some food. And that's what we're going to do. What are you having, pal? Nope, I'm afraid I don't have any cash on me. That's no problem here. We don't only accept cash, we also barter. We accept anything of value. <laughs> that excludes checks, naturally. <laughs> Check joke. What do you sell here? Anything you can eat or drink. Anything that fits into a box or a bottle. For other types of goods, talk to the hunter directly. What do you need? Liquor, tobacco, food? I could use some food. You're in luck. We have some of these emergency food rations. Everyone's the accent is weird in this game. Among the inhabitants of the camp in the first weeks after the Great Wave. You know, a bunch of them just uh, happened to fall into our hands. What do you have to offer in exchange? Mr. Bizarre voice actor, I have some cigs and booze. I have this pack of cigarettes. Virginia tobacco. There's not much of this in the camp. That's a good start. But it's not enough. The pack's been open and several cigarettes are missing. I'd need something more. Hmm. Would a bottle of liquor do? Fantastic. I think that's a fair price. I'll take both of them. Here you go, pal. The food package is all yours. Enjoy it in good health. Okay, Mr. Creeper Voice. So now we go back to that woman. I know what we're going to do. Hey, woman. Got you some food for your children. Here. This is what I promised you. That's all the food you brought? 
This will barely feed us for two days! Damn. I'm sorry, it's very complicated getting more in the camp. I only wanted to show you that you can trust me, that I can help you. That's what all you rats in this trash heap say? But in the end, only thing you're interested in is taking advantage of my husband and me. I've held up my part of the bargain. Yeah, we Isn't did. Isn't that proof enough? Listen, let me have that pass to get out of the camp. And I promise I'll come back with the morphine you need to ease your husband's suffering. Yeah. Ah, okay. But you better hurry. You better trust with the Here. person. Just finally trust What's this. A bracelet? It's like an ID Friendship badge. Friendship bracelet. Wear it and the soldiers will recognize you. It won't just get you out of the camp. It'll also help you avoid all kinds of problems with the army once you reach the cool. city. I'm not sure I'm doing the right thing by giving it to you. Just don't betray me, you rat. Bring me that morphine from my husband, and I promise you, I'll give you lots of money in oh, return. Oh, hell yeah. Much more money than you could earn in a lifetime in this What's good is money, though? No, that's not necessary. We never said anything about money. I have to know you're coming back. I don't trust any of you. And I know that money is the only thing that'll make you keep your word. Mm. All you camp rats are alike. Still living now on get currency. out of my sight and don't make me regret this. And don't come back without my husband's morphine. There'll be a fat wad of oh, cash waiting yeah. for you. Okay. We got a fat wad of cash waiting for us now. Let's get that fat wad of cash. Oh, rat. So all we need to do now, we can just jet on out of here. Just... Go through that gate and I'll blow your head off with one shot, rat. Hmm. Do you need to get a closer look at what I have on my wrist? Wait a minute. Look, he's got on one of those ID bracelets the camp moles wear. Those cockroaches are very useful to us in here. Lower your gun and let him leave. You heard him. Get out of here, rat. Michael is just so goddamn cool. So, I enter the city. It welcomes me with its most merciless and bitter grimace. What I see before my eyes... Is not what I expected. Oh no. Doomsday made it here too. Even if no one in the refugee camp knows it yet. Damn it. The city looks as bruised and battered by the catastrophe as the rest of us. <gasps> that deep. That deep, man, that deep. Boom! Act two Doomsday City. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, everybody between. Uh, welcome to Act Two, and that did it for Act One. So I will see you next time. Bye-bye.